every great teammate I've ever had has always been fast to a fight. What do you mean by that? They're fast to a fight. It's been every, every, every teammate I have, there's a guy, Wally Rayner, I think about a lot, man. He was a, a middle linebacker at UVA. He went to West Charlotte High School. He was my next door locker mate in the, uh, in the locker room. And anytime you had a problem on the field, anytime you got an argument with an with a, with a opponent with a, on the team, you knew the first guy coming over the top behind your back was going to be Wally. 44 was coming across the field, and he was always fast to the fight. Always fast to the fight. He's going to be the first guy that had your back when there was a problem. I was on a mentor call this morning with Mike Brennan, and somebody said something about Chris Shelton. Mike Brennan was ready to be fast to that fight. Mike was going to have Chris's back. He was going to support him in that time of adversity, and he was going to help Chris walk through that problem. So many of you this entire week, this entire season of quarantine, have been incredibly fast to the fight. Every time there's been a problem, man, I have watched teammates rush into the fray to come alongside one another, serve each other, help each other, fix problems, be solution oriented. And that has created a infectious culture of courage. I got to highlight a few of our team members who I've watched this do this over the years and do it extremely well. And what one I think back on is uh, Michelle Gertzen. Michelle, I don't know if you're on here right now, but I remember, Michelle, in the earliest days of this company, it didn't matter what your problem was. It didn't matter what fight you were in. You called Michelle and she was fast to be in it with you. She would, she, she, we used to joke that Michelle would pick the kids up out of the, the ball bin at uh, Chuck E. Cheese. She used to work at Chuck E. Cheese and said, hey, I'm just doing the same thing. I used to pick kids up that were drowning in the ball bin at Chuck E. Cheese, and now I'm doing it for loan officers. Man, when, they, when they're struggling, when they can't figure out which way is up, I just reach down the ball bin and I pick them up. Man, I'm fast to the fight on their behalf. I want to tell you, April Morrison is another one. Uh, she's the wife of Mike Morrison. She's one of all of our favorite spouses in the company. And April's a veteran. She was in our United States Air Force, lives in Boise, Idaho. And when she heard that there was a blood shortage, that people were shortage donating blood, obviously, because of this global pandemic, rather than, than go, yeah, that makes sense, and sit in the house and lament the problem, she did what servicemen and women do, right? They run into the fray. They are fast to the fight. She went in actually to go give blood because she knew there was a shortage. In the course of giving blood, she got a phone call a few days later and found out that she may have been exposed to COVID-19. Then started to develop flu-like symptoms and uh, was immediately rushed to the hospital. Mike took her to the hospital with breathing issues. Man, the word went out, and I can't tell you, I, I was flooded with team members that were fast to the fight on April's behalf, lifting her and Mike up in prayer, asking what they could do. I mean, I think, I think we would have sent them 10,000 pounds of home-baked food if they would have received it, just because of the way this community wanted to come around that couple. And incredible news, we heard two days ago, April tested negative for COVID-19. We thought she was positive, she tested negative, and she's on the mend and doing better. So I called Mike yesterday, I said, hey man, how's April? doing is you know she, she pulled out a, a sewing machine and now she's making masks for everybody in our town she, she hadn't used this sewing machine since december and she's making masks for everyone else now because she knows the reality and the depth and the pain and the suffering of covid19 april april is modeling for all of us what it looks like to be fast to the fight there's three quick benefits i want to talk to you all about about being a community that is fast to the fight to solve problems for one another to come to one another's aid, man, to be a proactive about fixing and having each other's back. The first is this, man, when you're fast to the fight, you end it. You can end it early. End it early. Last year, we talked about running to the roar. And then sometimes when you run to the roar, you find out it's not a big lion. It's a, man, it's, a, it's an old scraggly cat who's got a roar that's a lot better than he is. Sometimes when you're fast to the fight, when you proactively step into problems, when, when you run towards solving them instead of running away from them, a lot of times, man, you find out you can take care of that much more quickly than you imagine. Secondarily, man, you can, you can end it before it becomes big, right? You all did that with these refinances. We went fast, we went hard, we went right at it, and we we're able to end it. We we're able to end it before it became any kind of an issue or a problem for us. I can tell you a lot of your competitors and peers have not rolled back the ability to lock refinances before our appraisals received. We're doing it because we were fast and proactive to address the issue head on understand it and overcome second benefit of being fast to the fight man whether you're an ops team member or a sales team member is you are going to encourage the people you join in the fight you're going to encourage them every one of us will go faster and go further when we have a friend with us 
The reason the Navy SEALs pair you up with a buddy is because they know you will fight harder, you will fight longer, you will work and win faster, and you will go further than you would ever by yourself when you have a friend there with you. When you are fast to the fight, you bring encouragement to everyone around you, and you help those that are in the fight and in the struggle go further and go faster. The third and final benefit, man, and this is the one that, 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 man, we can't ever miss. And this is the one you don't always get to see in the moment, but always happens over time. When you're fast to the fight, man, you set an example and you actually create a movement because you are setting an example of courage. And I'll tell you one thing we know right now, man, that yes, COVID is contagious, but fear is more contagious. But courage is also contagious. And when you're someone that's fast to the fight, when you run out in front, you actually set an example of what courage can and should look like for others. And others will follow you. You'll inspire courage in folks that might not have had it themselves because they'll see the way you're leaning into issues. They'll see the way that you're unafraid stepping in to solve these problems and they will step up and do likewise. This is a movement of change that is all about being fast to the fight. That is all about coming to the aid of those in need. I'm looking at Mike on my screen. He happens to be there. And he, he called me last night listening and talking to me about our friends in Ecuador who have churches down there. And I mean, they have, they, have, they, have they have members of their congregation that are dying. They don't have anywhere to bury it. Mike immediately is organizing a call this week, a Zoom call for us to get together to think about how to help our friends that are in an incredible time of need. This is a community that whether we're talking about fixing a loan or fixing a problem in a nation that we might not even live in, is all about being fast to the fight, to love and serve those around us. And because each one of us does that individually, man, collectively we swell up with courage to step forward into these important fights and these important struggles together. And as we do it, I promise you others are watching. Others are watching. And man, they will join your courageous act of running towards the fight, of being fast to it. And man, they'll amplify that good work in ways that you'll never see, you'll never see. But you know what? Those in need will feel it. Those in need will receive it. And it all starts because of your example of courageously being fast to the fight.